about to make a juice. Got some uh, centella, also called go-to cola or pennywort. Got a little bit of coconut water from a very sweet young cocoa. Apple, cucumber, lime, Asian pear. And yeah, I'm gonna juice this up. Oh, you guys, <laughs> I, just, uh, I just cleaned up my juicer and now I'm enjoying my juice. This is absolutely insane. I love the taste of the go-to cola. Um, it has like this very unique, earthy, slightly sweet flavor. I forgot how good Asian pear is, man. With the lime and the freak, man. Every time I make a juice, it just always is, it just works. It's, it's raining. It's raining hard outside. Um, so yeah, I actually got home just in time, like right before it started dumping. Like it was just drizzling while I was out, which is fine. I don't mind it. Mm. So yeah, this juice cost me like $3, $3 to make it. It's, it was even more than this. It was like, you know, it's overfilling this, but I drank some and holy crap, it's just like the best life giving elixir. I've just been on liquids today. I didn't really feel like eating anything for some reason. Um, so I just had a coconut this morning and like 16 ounces of sugarcane lime juice, which was amazing. So I had the sugarcane juice and then chased it with the coconut because, you know, the sugarcane juice is pretty, uh, pretty dang uh, sweet, you know. So I had the coconut water to balance it out. I had a nice like salty coconut, so. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to eat anything today or if I'm just going to go on juices, but I'll keep you guys updated. It's about 1 o'clock now, and I just feel really good. So I'm going to dance around, <laughs> do some uh, do some exercises at home, um, you know, because it's raining. But I might go sit out in the rain, actually, and, like, just do a rain dance. I love the rain. And, uh, yeah. This lady at the stall, oh, she had the most amazing, like, durians. They were splitting open. They were so ripe. But I know, like, if I eat that, it's going to make me inflamed again. So I got to choose. Like, the durian will be there once I, like, heal myself, you know. It's, it's tough because it's my favorite food, but it makes me inflamed. And, like, when I have to be on my feet all day and, you know, I got to help these kids, um, I want to be at, like, my highest potential that I can be. So, I don't know. I'm just really drawn to the juices today. We'll see if it turns into something. Um, I got a lot of friends that are on Juice Feast right now or Solid Food Vacations, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's really inspiring. Like, once you do one of these things and you feel the energy that is possible, like, it goes beyond your taste buds. Like, sure, durian tastes good, but... Do I get the same energy that I would if I would drink like a green juice, some coconut water? No. Like liquids are the most amazing energy. Oh, did you guys hear the thunder? I can feel that in my soul. I love storms. So it's a time for cleansing. It's a time for rebirth. Um, there's some stuff happening astrologically right now that is kind of crazy. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into it. Um Comment down below if you guys would like to see a video of me talking about um, the astrology and stuff going on. There's like a Mars. I think Mars just entered Aries um, today. And there's a lot of stuff happening in July. There's like five planets retrograde or something. And I know Mercury retrograde, which is a big one. Um, you know, so the communication's all out of whack, the electronics, all that stuff. Um, but yeah. I'll get back to you guys soon. Um, I'm just going to enjoy my juice and chill out. All right, this is going to be my dinner juice. It's absolutely insane oranges. Juiced up with this coconut water. Got a really nice one. I already know this is about to be insane. Classic. I love coconut and orange. Amazing combo. 
I like to balance out the acids, the acidic fruits. Like I would do this with pineapple too, half pineapple, half coconut. Amazing combo. I love juicing so much. I've been doing it like two over two years. Um, not consistently, but I've done a lot. I've done a lot. And it's like, I believe um, the easiest way for people to transition into a more healthy lifestyle, even if they're still eating the garbage, the meat, the cheese, the dairy, the wheat, whatever it is, start your day with the juice on the empty stomach. Everybody uses soap, you know, they clean their hands, they clean their their house, whatever, with soap, and they clean their clothes with detergent, but they never think about cleaning their insides. Um, and that's what astringent juices will do for you. They're cleaning your intestines or cleaning house, you know, and um, we all need some more of that. Even myself, people are like, oh, Austin, you're a fruitarian, you know, you eat the cleanest diet in the world and la da da, you, you can't, you must have like the perfect insides. Like, why do you need to continually detox and stuff like that? It's because I was eating the wrong foods for, you know, 20 years of my life. And it's not just going to go away overnight. You know, four years may seem like a long time for someone um, to be fruitarian, but Cons considering how much I destroyed my organs, I mean, not destroyed, but harmed myself, essentially self-harm with these animal product foods is wheat. Wheat is one of the biggest ones, even more so than animal products, I believe. Um, yeah, you know, it, take it takes a while and I still got shit coming out of me. And, you know, that's not from this lifestyle like you see it when you go on long juice fast um this stinky stuff come out of you um so anyways i'm big proponent of juicing and i try to implement it into my daily lifestyle if not uh, making a juice i would get coconut water because i'm gifted to live here in the tropics where it's just in abundance and you know it's accessible it's inexpensive and it's one of the most healing energizing liquids in the world um so yeah i'm super hyped um i don't know some there's like a weird there's a shift happening i can feel it can you guys feel it uh comment down below um yeah, I'm feeling really good. Um, Neptune just went direct. I think Neptune re retrograde ended a few days ago. So um, we're getting a better grasp on some sort of thing that Neptune has control over. So that's interesting. I'm not going to go into the astrology thing because people are going to start just rolling their eyes and whatever. So anyways, um, I think that's it for today's video. I just had, let's see, I had a quart of juice this morning. It was um, half sugarcane juice. And then I had a coconut, which was about another half. So like a quart. And then I had that green juice, which was a little more than a quart, maybe 1.1 quarts. And then now I'm having this one, um, which is just a quart. So just three quarts today, which is a little less than I usually do, but um, it's raining a lot. I haven't been exercising much today because I've been pushing myself really hard and I've been exercising a lot. I haven't even been sitting down for like days, like four days. And um, especially working at the school, I do a lot of standing um, in one spot, which is not very good, you know, on concrete floors. I mean, not concrete, but tile floors or whatever. It's hard floors. It's not very good. So um, yeah, I've been resting up a little bit, but that's it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. It really means the world to me. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And uh, yeah, I hope to see the sun tomorrow because it's been pretty cloudy the past few days. So.
hope everybody's doing well um thank you guys <laughs>